Pink Cloud Man is the latest target of an elaborate secret shopper job scam. His check is signed by an employee of First U.S. Bank. But as it turns out, there is no job, and the check is a very good fake. Here's Mike Holfeld with this week's schemes and ripoffs. The bank does exist. News 6 viewer Harry Perez Alcover is a former FEMA fraud investigator who knows how to get answers. Did she indicate to you how many of these things are out there? She did not, but apparently there's a couple of them going out there. Perez tracked down First U.S. Bank in Thomasville, Alabama, after receiving this check for $1,800. A bank rep confirmed the name stamped on that check matches a current employee, Melanie Snell. That's the only thing that has a smattering of truth. The first thing she told me, not to deposit it. The check is counterfeit, and now the odd twist. Actually, nobody knows that I'm out here. Well, then why you? Why now? How'd they find you? Very good question. The check actually arrived via two-day priority mail. He's only lived here nine months. Harry received a secret shopper assignment to evaluate two Walmart stores and a Kmart store. Apparently, I was supposed to take it, deposit it in my account, take $50 cash for myself, go buy anything I wanted. Then I was supposed to send two amounts to two different people. The men live in Richmond and Allen, Texas, respectively. He was supposed to send the funds via MoneyGram, essentially laundering his own money. What was going to happen is when this check returned to its original bank in Alabama, when it, it was denied back to Florida, I would have lost $1,800 out of my pocket. In every one of these cases, there's a common denominator, the checks. They look legitimate. But if you call the bank, you'll find out it's probably a deposit for schemes and ripoffs. In St. Cloud, Mike Holfeld, News 6.